Lean 4 has various tactics that assist you in writing a proof. In this video, I'll be going over the reflexive tactic, the rewrite tactic, the RW tactic, and a bonus tactic, the sorry tactic. Starting off with sorry, you can see it's already being in use here. Theorem RFL1, 0 equals 0, is given by tactic sorry. What is sorry? Sorry is a tactic that lets you just say, I don't know the proof of this, and it's kind of like a placeholder, and it'll create a warning. So we have a warning that, oh, declaration uses sorry, it's not a real, not, it's not a valid proof in that sense. The RFL tactic, also known as the reflexive or RFL tactic, is a tactic that allows you to close a current goal using re reflexivity. So zero is reflectively equal to zero, so we can use the reflexive tactic. The reflexive tactic shows equality and up to definitional equality. So instead of having the exact same thing on the left hand and the right hand side, it also closes theorems that have things that are definitionally equal. So the way the naturals are defined in lean means that one times two plus three is definitionally equal to five. So we can use RFL. In a more complicated example, instead of having the um, explicit numbers here, we could also use it with variables, placeholders for natural numbers, and then we have x times y plus z equals x times y plus z by the reflexive tactic. Similarly, a plus zero equals a by the reflexive tactic. It is a very useful tactic. And then here we can say that a plus this natural successor of d, the way the naturals are implemented in lean, um, has the successive function for plus one is equal to the successor of a plus d. This also can be using the reflexive tactic. Where does the reflexive tactic not work? Well, in this case, if we look at our goal state, we can see that this theorem rewrite one has x, y, z, three variables, again, placeholders, and two hypotheses. Hypothesis one, x is equal to y, and hypothesis two, y is equal to z. And then we try and prove that x is equal to z. We can also see this in this lean overview state that we have x, y, z, all naturals, hypothesis one, hypothesis two, and our goal after this line, um, x equals z. Here, if we try to use the reflexive tactic, we're actually gonna get an error. Tactic reflexive has failed. Equality, on the left-hand side we have x, and it is not definitionally equal to the right-hand side, z. That's because x and z are placeholders for a natural number, they could be any natural number. It's not true by definition that x is equal to z. But we do have these two hypotheses that x is equal to y and y is equal to z. How can we use these hypotheses to rewrite our current situation to get to the current goal? That's exactly where the rewrite tactic comes in. So rewrite, and we can see what is the rewrite tactic. Rewrite applies identity E as a written rule to the target of the main goal. What does that mean? So if we put inside these square brackets an identity like H1, we can see how does our goal state change. Before the rewrite tactic, we have x equals z. And then if I mouse put my cursor after it, we have y equals z. So you can see here from x equals z to y equals z. Can we use reflexive now? Nope, because we still don't have y equals z. We can though use our hypothesis h2, y equals z to get z equals z. And then finally, z equals z, we can use the reflexive tactic to get back to, to get to get a valid proof of theorem rewrite one. Rewrite can be used both in the forward direction and the backward direction. So here we went from x equals z to y equals z to z equals z. And instead, let's go from x equals z to x equals y to x equals x. So as before, the rewrite tactic um, applies identities or statements with an equal sign as a rewrite rule to the target of the main goal. If E is preceded by a left arrow, the rewrite is applied in the reverse direction. That's exactly what we want. So we're gonna start by, we wanna go from X equals Z to X equals Y. So we can apply hypothesis two in the reverse direction to go from Z to Y. Um, H2 and then rewrite h1, and finally, raffle. 
Similarly, we can actually combine either of these into one line by ha having a list of goals. But for the previous example, I could do rewrite h1, h2, and have that work as well. And similarly for this example, I can have rewrite back arrow h2, back arrow h1, and that is valid as well. And you can see that here we jump from x equals z to x equals x. Now let's see theorem rewrite three. We have this here we start with sorry and we want to show that okay the successor of successor of a equals successor of b and we have the hypothesis that the successor of a is equal to b. This is similar to our previous example rewrite uh, h and then raffle. And then finally we have the RW tactic which actually also stands for rewrite mousing over it. RW is like rewrite but also tries to close the goal by cheap reducible ref reflective tactic afterwards. So this is the same example as um, rewrite one and rewrite two. So you can just do RW H1 H2 and that closes the goal. So those are four tactics we saw today reflexive rewrite and RW as well as the tactic sorry. Thanks for watching.